What's up everyone? You've always wondered how a gel cell lock works. Well, I have one and I'm going to show you how it works. And these are massive locks. They're real heavy. It's probably like 10 pounds. Here's the key. This is what the bidding looks like. And you can see each individual slot. That's for the different levers. I think this has like six levers in it. We'll take it apart here in just a second so you can see how it works. Anyways, you rotate it counterclockwise. It'll rotate one full time where you can remove the key. And then it'll also, you just keep going and it retracts the lever or the locking mechanism. So anyways, this is the other side. It looks the same. And you can see the warding right here. It matches the warding right here on both sides. And so we'll go ahead and take this part so you can see how it works. Okay, so to take this part, there's just two flathead screws, so we'll just unscrew those. Pretty simple. These locks are built really simple because they need oiled and serviced a lot, so they're pretty easy to take apart. And really they're simple in concept of how they work. And then you just got to pry this top part off. Let's see if I can get it off. Okay. Uh oh. Lever's already wanting to pop out. That's the top piece. Stick that back in there. You can see the levers right here. I think there's five of them. So I'll just leave this all in here like this and kind of show you how it works from here. Does not work the same when it's apart. There it goes. Okay, see how that those levers, they lift when I turn the key? They lift because there's a bar, and I'll show you here in just a second, that has to go in between those levers. So I'll take this off, the latch, I'll take the latch off. And I'll take this off. I guess I'll leave the spring on. But anyways, these are all these levers are all spring loaded right here and these pop out really easy when it's taken apart. I'll try to show you the key again. See this little lever for the or for this latch to come out it has to go in between these and they're all different heights. Which is why all these slots are different heights. Okay, try to do this from a different angle. Okay, you can see how that works now. I'll zoom in a little bit. You can see they all lift at different angles. I have to jiggle it a little bit since it's a part and not everything is held into place. So that's how the locking mechanism works. And that just pulls the bolt back and forth. So I'll go ahead and take this key out. And then I'll take these levers out. And the general rule is just take one out at a time. Set it down. Take the next one out. Set it down. Set it down. Set that one down, set that one down. And that's just to keep them in order because if you don't have them in the right order, then the key won't work. There's a little bushing here. Okay, this is the actual plate that restricts the uh, latch. And then this is the cylinder that the key goes into.
and you can see right here this is where the levers go and there's one two three four five there's five levers and they all have to be at different heights and I actually got lucky on this one because a lot of these locks are not serrated but as far as picking these go generally it'd be pretty easy you could just stick something in here use your hand as tension and kind of jiggle it kind of like you would rake in a lock and you could unlock it that way but this like most of them like i said on youtube and stuff they they don't have these serrates this particular lock has the serrates so you can see right here this is meant to trick you kind of like serrated pins in a lock and you pick it the same way and um it just makes it more difficult it's just a tricky because normally when you'd pick a lever lock or a regular lock it clicks and then you assume that's in the right position so you move to the next one well it might be on the serrate instead of here so it's meant to confuse you i mean you can still pick it pretty easily if you have the tool and this lock right here it's so big you'd actually have to build your own tool and it'd look a lot like an allen wrench except for it'd be a lot thinner and basically it would stick in here you turn this as far as you could and then you go in between this and just sit there and go on the first lever until you click it and then once it's clicked into place second third fourth then you go back over and just like you're picking a serrated lock and feel for feedback and all that good stuff i'm not gonna go through all that though i'm gonna go ahead and put this back together there's the bushing the spring um this is in place go ahead and put this on scoot it all the way forward and then put the last one in get the next one put it in so as you can see these prison locks or jail cell locks whatever you want to call them they're they're real simple to break down and service and things like that i'll show you one more time how this dude works let me zoom in a little bit so you can really see it see they're all at different heights now according to the bidding on the key and then once boom see if i try to pull this forward it gets stuck on the uh, levers. You can't go forward with it. But if you have the key, there you can see. And then now you can't go back. See, if you were trying to pick it, you'd start with this first one. And you would, with your hand, you would put the tension this way and have your little wrench in there. And see, this is tensioned against this. And you'd start by pushing this first one. Now see, it would click right here. Well, it's whatever, which one, whichever one's the binding one. But it, anyways, and you can see that this is serrated too. So this one be a little bit tricky. Uh, I think here before long, I'm gonna, I, I'll have to build a tool probably out of some, maybe like a coat hanger or something like that. I think that would be probably the best thing to use anything that's like thin it'd be like maybe an eighth of an inch thick and you just build it to pretty much look like an allen wrench so i'm gonna put that washer back on there that back on there whoa okay and then this top goes back on there There we go. Okay, and then you just put your screws back in. And there it is. 
Folger Adams lock.